Stainless steel odor remover? What? Don't forget to stay tuned all the way to the end of the video to hear my pick for comment of the week. So I found this product on the website, Life's Abundance. Generally, I love all of the Life's Abundance products. I feed all of my dogs Life's Abundance food and their shampoo and spritzer and all kinds of products that I've tried are amazing. Last time I was shopping for some Life's Abundance products, I ran across this very interesting stainless steel odor remover and I decided I would give it a try. So of course your sweetie pie needs a bath, like all of us do too, right? I mean, sometimes they're gonna smell if they haven't had a bath in a while and you know, they get like these little stinky odors. So baths are good, but sometimes in between baths, you might wanna do something to help with any kind of odors. I do worry about using harsh soaps or chemicals on my sweetie pies. I don't wanna do anything like that that could make them sick. So when I came across this product, which claims to be safe and environmentally friendly, I decided to give it a try. I mean, after all, like, what do I have to lose? So Marco gets a bath every couple weeks, but even so, sometimes there's a little bit of an odor, which I love, Margo. I love the way you smell. But, you know, sometimes that odor might be something that we don't really necessarily want to be smelling while we're cuddling on the couch. So, hey, if I can find a environmentally friendly product that's not going to be bad for her, that's going to remove any weird odors, I am definitely down with that. So let's give stainless steel odor remover from Life's Abundance a try and see how it works. Thank you, Mama Love. So this box says this special steel alloy delivers superior results. Mm. It says it quickly neutralizes and eliminates odors and it doesn't just mask them. Oh my gosh, it says it's going to eliminate any odors. I'm so excited to try it. Gentle massaging action soothes and relaxes your pet while strengthening the human slash animal bond. Can't wait to strengthen my bond with you. It says it has no harsh chemicals. That's always nice. It's environmentally friendly. It's reusable and it lasts for years. So let's give it a try. So directions are listed on the back. It says for people, rub as you would a soap bar under running water. For dogs and cats, moisten a section of the coat with a wet cloth, place the nubs facing the coat and gently massage. Nubs. I'll show you what the nubs are in just a second. Okay. Wow. So it looks like this little stainless steel sort of bar of soap. It's kind of in a soap size and shape and it says life's abundance and i'm assuming that these right here are the nubs oh. so according to the packaging this lovely bar of not soap eliminates all kinds of odors such as fish garlic onions and i don't know like is that a picture of cilantro or parsley i'm not sure but supposedly it eliminates all kinds of odors so we are going to find out if it really works Marco, is he going to take a bath without going all the way under the water? If this actually works and I don't have to actually submerge her in water, I am going to be super happy and so is she. All right, here we go. So we just have a little washcloth and we're going to get some water on it and we're going to moisten her fur. What is it? It's okay. It's just a little bit of water. It's really not going to hurt you. You don't like baths? Okay, Margo, are you ready? Let's give it a try. Oh, it's a good girl. Mommy loves you. So once we wet her little section of fur, we're supposed to take the little nubs and we're supposed to put it against her fur and gently massage. So supposedly this part of the process is, is gonna be like a bonding experience between you and your sweetie pie. But I really do think that that would depend on whether or not your sweetie pie liked the rubbing nubs. I mean, it doesn't feel bad. I still smell, Margo. How long do I have to massage? I think she likes it. She's kind of closing her eyes as if it feels nice. I can still smell her. 
Maybe I need to get the whole thing wet. How is this removing any odor? I really don't get it. But right now I'm just gonna try it on her right side so that later I can smell the right side versus the left side and see if I can tell a difference. Okay, so after about five minutes of rubbing the wet bar on her wet fur on the right side and nothing on the left side, let me give it a test and see if I can tell a difference. Left side smells like usual, smells like a pillow. Right side smells different, but I still smell an odor. So that's kind of interesting. Now on the box, it did say that it eliminates the smell of things like garlic and fish and some other things. But just to give it a test, I went ahead and got some garlic and I'm gonna chop it up and I'm gonna put it all over my fingers and I'm gonna try rubbing this on my fingers and see if I can tell a difference afterwards. So let's check that out. Okay, so we have garlic all over the left and the right hand. Oh, I never took a raw bite like that. That's strong. Okay, so I put garlic on both my left and my right hand, and I'm only going to use this on my right hand, and I'm going to see if I can eliminate the smell of the garlic. Make sure to get the nubs. Okay, so after a couple of minutes of rubbing around my right hand on the nubs, that were wet. I'm gonna do a smell test and see if I can tell a difference. Garlic. Oh, I definitely smell less. I actually really do smell less, which I'm kind of surprised because I wasn't sure what that was doing, but there is definitely something to it, absolutely. I smell less on this hand than I do on this. So maybe it kind of works, but I'm gonna be totally honest here. I don't really smell like lack of odor on Margot's right side after doing it. I do smell a different odor, I will say. Maybe it works a little bit, but I don't think that it completely eliminates, unless maybe you're supposed to like sit here for like five hours, but who has time for that? So I looked into it a little further and stainless steel is also covered in chromium oxide, also known as chrome. Chromium oxide does not rust, but it does form an oxide when it's in contact with air and water. And a lot of websites mention that it removes onion and garlic smells because it binds with the sulfur that's in the smell, which then can just be washed away. But if you wanna check it out anyways, I will put a link in the description below so that you can buy it yourself. So comment of the week comes from Julia Zelg and she commented on the fashion show, which was our last video. And we had a lot of fun with the fashion show. If you guys didn't see that video, please click here and watch that. Julia says, best video I have ever watched in my entire life. Thank you so much, Julia. I really, really appreciate that comment. That means so much to me. Encouragement is always appreciated. I love you guys all so much. Thank you for watching my videos and please stay safe. We'll see you guys next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye. Marco, say bye.